All right, so good morning. It is pretty early, so you'll have to excuse me if I have a little bit of, I don't know, issues this morning. Anyway, good morning. You guys recognize this place. You guys know where we're at here. And I have the Z here. And if you guys are reading the title, you know that it's because we are going to our first tune. Well, my first tune. Mike's been on the tune like a hundred million times. Uh, but I've never been tuned on a dyno, and so, we're gonna see what this makes. I wanna clean it up. I wanna see if I can make a little bit more power, but um, more importantly, I wanna make sure that I am completely reliable, um, that I know I'm gonna beat on it. I know we're gonna go on drives. I know I'm gonna take it drifting. I know I'm gonna do stuff like that. So we gotta make sure that this little girl runs good. So we're gonna go wake Mike's ass up and we're gonna get his Z out here and you guys are gonna see us mobbing down. We're gonna go visit our good buddy, uh, Jason. Um, Whipple Z71, I'm gonna link him right here. Check him out, he's dope. He he does all the Mike's cars. He does all the LS cars. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, look at this fleet now. It's nice to add mine to this little fleet a little bit. So um, I'm sure in just a second, the Z will be out here and uh, we're gonna get rolling. So let's get this started.
So we're just pulling up. We're here. I've been talking with Jason a little bit, trying to figure out some stuff with this before it goes on the dyno. Like I told you guys, this is my first time. So I don't know. I'm a little nervous to be honest, but he's going to pull the car in. We're going to put it on the rollers first and then we're going to see, uh, I don't know. We're going to see the baseline numbers and then see what we can pull out of it and a couple different things that we do today. So they're trying to get the steering wheel on right now. And, uh, then after that, then we'll tune mics. So I hope y'all are ready. Cause I mean, like I said, I'm a little nervous, but I mean, it's in good hands. I trust him. So here we go. So the sound quality should be a little bit better. I'm back on the stick now, so not in the bite mount, but it's all loaded up. I think they're gonna strap it down. We're gonna see what this does. Like I said, I'm a little nervous, so I'm nervous, fool. You be right, it's LS3, baby. He's gonna blow up one night up. <laughs> hey, he knows that I'm like super paranoid because my LS6 blew up on the track, like damn near driving into the track, so. <laughs> That's because you had an LS6, man. LS3, yeah, way different. LS6, LS1, suck. Never yeah, mind blew up. Yeah, and you know what? He's totally made a believer out of me with this LS3 too, because me being able to just throw it in there, take it to the Winter Jam event, and then drive it out here with no issues, and now hopefully survive a dyno. Like, big believer. Bruh, in it. Big believer. No, there is no hopefully. It's gonna survive the dyno. Yeah. We'll see. Even more. Even more reason to believe in it. So, here we go. Cars all hooked up. You can see computers in it. Just waiting for a couple more things and we're gonna get started. As you guys just heard uh, Mike for his video, this is gonna be a baseline tune or a baseline pull and we're gonna see just what it makes because I have no idea. It's factory, it has headers on it, and it has like intake and then exhaust and that's it. The, the engine has never been cracked open, so it's a bone stock LS3. So it's gonna be awesome to see, uh, I mean, just what it is, just, just how it is and how much power it makes. So, oh, come on. where the fuel injector was dumping fuel into the cylinders. And so 
I think that that probably washed the plug out when I scooted up. I'm hoping it's just a plug, a foul plug. So Jason just gave me a wrench. I think we're gonna pull the number two plug out and see how it looks. And then if we can, swap it from there and keep going. Or if it's gonna be more, if I have to change other things, like change all the plugs, then we're probably gonna put mics on and then um, we'll come back to this. So I'm gonna change that now and we'll see what happens. All right, so we just pulled the plug out and I'll come over here so I, you can kind of hear me a little bit better. On here, you can see that there's like no gap on this. I don't know what happened with that. It doesn't look like it's been tapped by the piston or anything stupid like that. Um, it might have been that maybe this out of the box was dropped or something to that matter. Um, I took them out of the box. You guys know how it goes when you change plugs. You pull it out of the box and put it in. You don't really look at it, especially with these. These are iridium. Um, I've been told probably over the whole course of my career while I've been doing anything with spark plugs as a mechanic, um, not to gap iridium because the little uh, electrode on the inside is really delicate and you don't want to drag something across it and take the top off of it. So I probably put it in this way. I'm going to try and regap it with what I can right now, try and salvage this, and then we're going to put it back in there and see how it goes. So, I mean, if this is all it is, that might be okay. But you can see it doesn't look foul. There's no issues. The strap on the back is a little band. Um, for those of you that don't know, on the ground strap, there's a little band you can see that has like, it's a little bit lighter. That actually can tell you a lot about where your timing's at. Um, it should be right on the crest as it comes up and over. And I mean, it looks right about there. So it doesn't look like we're having like real bad issues. It might just be the spark plug itself. So I'm gonna try and regap this, put it in and we'll see how it goes. So Mike's gonna throw his on the dyno. He's gonna get his cleaned up, see if he can make a little bit more power. Um, and I'm gonna be changing the plugs here. So we got these V-Power ones. These are the TR6s. I guess they're a little bit step colder. So Jason said he really likes them for the use of this engine um, and like what we're doing with it. So I trust his decision and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start changing those. So as Mike mentioned in his video too, um, I'll show you guys some pulls, some stuff that his car is making, but I won't be watching or I won't be doing any numbers. I won't be uh, broadcasting anything that he's making or really anything of that he's making or doing because um, he's got his own channel. I got my own channel and um, you guys know we both fuck with each other heavy and do stuff, um, you know, to help each other out. But when it comes to stuff like that, you guys got to go watch his stuff. Um, and, and then, like he said, you guys going to come watch mine. So, yeah, if you guys want to see it, Go to his channel. These are probably going to be dropping on the same day. So you'll see what mine makes. You'll see what his makes. And pretty much what the rest of the day holds for us. So after we're done here, I don't know if we're going to take a little cruise. I don't know if we're going to be able to go to lunch or do something like that. So um, just depends on how long we'll be here. But yeah, check my boy out. My brother's got some nasty shit coming. So can't wait to see it. So all right, I'm going to get on these plugs. All right, we got one bank done. And Mike helped me out pull off these things because... If you guys have ever tried to pull one of these off, you know it's kind of a bitch, especially when the engine's a little bit warm. So thank you for pulling those off, brother. You can see it's like got me a couple different spots, scratched. But if you're not bleeding, you're not working on cars, and that's just a fact. So we're gonna change this other side, and he hasn't even got his started yet. So you can see the fan in there. I don't know, maybe you can't see it, but the fan's not even going. So we're making good time on this, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna change these out. And then we'll go and watch some of his pulls and then we'll put this back on. Like it never been touched. Man. We're only about a mile from the airport, so the planes that keep flying over look really low. Anyway, we got all the plugs changed. They're the step colder plugs. So I need to go return these. And actually, let's see how this does.
right, so now that I'm done messing with my car, it can sit out here for a little bit, come in here, enjoy some of the stuff with Mike's, see what Mike's does, and uh, where do you guys get to listen to the sounds? All right, so we're gonna get a pull here in just a second. I put my intake on here. Um, we took Mike's off because Mike has a three and a half inch, mine is a four inch, and he thinks he's losing power, especially with him having a cam and this other stuff in it. Um, he's probably gonna make more power. So we're gonna see how much more power, and I think he's gonna eventually swap to a four inch exhaust. It's not gonna be exactly like mine. I, do, I know he does wanna have it outside the engine bay, um, so he'll probably have a custom one. Janky will probably make him a custom one. But because ours are exact same cars, it's easy to take mine off, swap it on here, even the same mass airflow, and see kind of what happens. So we're gonna see the power difference or the power number difference um, now with this one on here, so. Some time has passed. You can see the dyno is now empty. However, yep, big however. Car sitting here was getting ready to start. Actually, I did start the car and boom. The other side of this stupid power steering line that I got broke, came apart. You can see, see where the metal is at that it came off of right there just sheared apart just like it did at the winter jam on the lower part of the hose so i guess that's a wrap for me um i don't have any way of fixing it here right now um we're about an hour and 10 minutes away from um vacaville so i need to figure out a tow now <sighs> man something about this stupid line I'm for sure changing this whole thing though. I ain't buying this sicky line no more because I thought that the one end was a fluke, but now that both ends have popped off, it's just trash. So I gotta figure something else about it. But um, Mike's done, so I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out. So I'll give you guys an update in just a few. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we just got done cleaning this thing out. The line's still off, but that actually won't affect anything that has to do with the tune. So I think we're still gonna get a uh, tune. I mean, we're out here, we might as well. All right, so you get, guys see current position. We just backed it up onto the rollers, getting it tied down. We're gonna run this thing. Okay, just a fair warning, just so you guys know that I still have oil and stuff all over the front here. I tried cleaning it off, blowing it off, but if you see smoke coming out, there's nothing wrong. It's just burning it off the headers. Here we go, attempt number two. She's running so much smoother too.
we did change to a step holder plug. And so you can see right here, the numbers are significantly down. Jason's looking at it right now to see maybe what happened. So we're gonna know here in a minute. good that's really what I want you guys know that power really doesn't mean a lot to me I just wanted to make good power um, but you know I'm not trying to go for huge numbers so I'm stoked on this this is awesome all right so just wrapped up the last pull you guys have been seeing a bunch of pulls so I didn't put that last one on here I was talking to Jason about some of the timing stuff and some of that but here you go here's final numbers right here we're at 409 max power, 403 on the torque. Big thank you to this man. He's really been like just helping me out and he's been super cool about today, even with the stuff that's been going on with the car. So super thankful for that. And now I know the car runs, sounds good, and it's like legit. So um, I think we're gonna probably wrap this up a little bit, start to take it off the dyno, and then me and Mike are gonna cruise home. We'll wrap this video up. You can see it's dark. We're limping at home. You guys know I have no power steering. So I'll let you know when we get home and uh, then we're gonna wrap this vlog up. So, oh man, it is like super tough trying to turn. So, all right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'll see you guys back at home. Whoo, she made it home. Man, I mean, I knew that she was going to be just fine driving at home. I didn't have any like, you know, ill feelings as far as the tune goes or anything for the engine, but it did worry me a little bit because the um, power steering was like so bad. Excuse me one second. Got to open the hood. You know how it goes. Make sure it stays nice and cool in here. But um, with the power steering, I didn't want it to leak down on the alternator. And then Jason got me all scared saying that like the... Um, fluid from the power steering. If it leaks an alternator, it could burn it up and that type of stuff. So I didn't want that to happen. I tried to clean it off today. Um, I'll never use a sicky hose again. Um, it's wild. Like this is because the bottom part of the hose broke off during competition and I smacked into the wall. And then now this, I mean, it's supposed to be rated at like 48,000 PSI. I took a screenshot of it because I will be contacting them on Monday. Um, but I don't know, I guess, you know, live and learn, trial by error, however you want to look at it. Um, all in all, cars in one piece, it ran phenomenal. That 409 number is just, it's awesome. And the torque to back it up, like this car just feels super smooth. It's a monster. And I just, I cannot wait now to drive it like every day. It's crazy. I have more fun in this than I did when I had the supercharged setup. And I'm not saying anything bad about the supercharged setup, but 
the torque on command is just something you can't mess with. And so um, this car is just wild nasty now. And so now I see why Mike swears by all of these engines. And um, yeah, I mean, you guys get to look forward to plenty more drives with us. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the content from today. I'm tired. Uh, I can't really think right now. I'm starving. So we got our home safe. I want to bring this video in, start editing it so I can drop it tomorrow for y'all so you guys can see what's going on. I don't know when Mike's going to drop his, but when he does, check it out because we had two different points of view, two different angles, and you want to know what his made, right? So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for today. I don't know how long this video is, but I feel like I've been vlogging all day. So if it was a long video, I hope you watched all the way through. I hope you guys love the content. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me and it's just every day there's more growth, there's more DMs, there's more love, there's more support. And I mean, that's what keeps me going. So I know I tell you guys all the time, but y'all are the reason why this channel works so well and I just appreciate you. And huge shout out to my brother, Mike, for taking care of everything today um, a lot of this stuff wouldn't be possible without him his influence his guidance and that stuff you're a smart motherfucker man but uh anyway big shout out to you i love you bro this has been amazing and uh much more to come so if you don't follow me already hit the subscribe button i know i don't normally do this but if you don't leave comments leave a comment talk to me let me know what's up i try to get back to everybody if you guys scroll through my old videos you'll see i try to answer every single person's comment because y'all mean a lot to me so um try and do that and uh you know hit the notification bell so that way you know because it's so erratic when i do drop videos and i'm trying to get better about that i promise but I know that it's like wishy-washy. Sometimes it's three in a week. Sometimes it's one a month. So uh, hit the notification bell. Anyway, much love to y'all. Much love to your family. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.